This is how I came to appreciate the value of a blank piece of paper to keep me out of the copy room and away from the printer. This is Modifying KWL for Different Disciplines, Graphic Organizer Edition. This is a standard KWL chart that many teachers have seen. The first column is a place where students record what they believe they know about a topic before they engage in new learning. Beneath that is a section for categories where they organize that information. In the next column, they put down what they want or need to know, and this becomes the W or N. Finally, after learning something new, they put down what they have learned, and that's the L. How do you do that with a blank piece of paper? First, fold it into thirds as you see here. Fold up the ends in about one to one and a half inches. It doesn't have to be exact. Unfold it, label it, and this is what you have. Put the K, W, and L in the top, and then put categories at the bottom, and there you have it. KWL. Now this KWL chart is a little more complex because it also asks students to look at various primary source documents. It will be a little harder to fold. Here's how you do it. Take a, an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper and fold a 1 inch tab across the top. Fold the remainder in half and in half again it will look about like this. Fold a 1 inch tab up on the end. <coughs> then Take that piece of paper and fold up the long end into, th into thirds. One, two, and three. This will become the columns. These will become the columns for know, need to know, and learned. Your final chart will look about like this before students complete it. Be sure that students have a model that they can take a look at before you show them how to complete the chart. In this chart, a science teacher has asked the students to look at the text and gather information from the graphics or data, which are sometimes different. How do you fold this? Here's what a final chart might look like on folded paper. What directions would you give your students in order to make sure that they were successful in completing this folded paper graphic organizer? Now that you have seen the power of folded paper and can get away from printers and from copy machines at times, what are your next steps? Here are some sources of information for KWL and for disciplinary literacy that you might want to examine.